Hey guys, what's up? It's James here from J Ray Games and I'm back with another video tutorial for you. And today we are talking about positional tracking with nothing more than a webcam and your PS VR. All right, so stay tuned. You don't want to miss this one. Well, positional tracking, that's what we're talking about today. And specifically, we're talking about doing positional tracking with a web camera. And you'll notice in the latest release of Trinus, they released positional tracking. It's its own little tab. This is something that's been in the works for a while, and I was fortunate enough to beta test this, and I thought, man, this is awesome. Um, and if you've gone through the process of using PS Move Service or the PS3i cameras, you know that it can be tricky and it's not always perfect. Um, what the, uh, the, the staff over at Trinus has done is they have figured out how to track the LED in the front of the PlayStation VR. Now the nice thing about this is that you don't need any fancy setup. Most of you already have a webcam um, and that's not going to require any additional equipment. The tracking is very good However, uh, it's meant for a seated experience, okay? Front-facing seated experience. Because we're only working with one camera, uh, you're going to be playing front forward or seated forward-facing games, all right? So this is gonna be great for things like cockpit games and uh, driving games and all the rest of it, but not so good for things where you need to turn around or you need to you know, move around in your space, okay? So this is going to be kind of limited to those type of games. All right, so let me show you how to set that up. Okay, so now that we are on our computer here and we've got Trinus open and ready to go, we gotta do a few settings in order to make this work. So we're gonna go to the position tab, fit, position tracker tab to see uh, the actual testing for this. Now, there's an embarrassing shot, uh, but we're gonna enable position tracking. We're gonna select our webcam, we're gonna click test. And when we do that, now you can see me looking at my webcam in front of me. And this is the proper position, that it's going to be square to you while you're sitting here. And you'll notice that we have a few options. We can invert the um, controls, so left is right and right is left. Uh, we can, I'm just skipping a few things here because we're going to look at it in a second. Uh, we can decide how many LEDs we're going to use. I find that the best tracking is with single. We can enable depth if we want and what that will allow us to do is have forward and back tracking now this is not working very well so for now I just have single LED and this is really gonna give me a nice left and right track um, and so what we're gonna do is we're going to first of all start up Trinus with that option turned on if you don't have this option turned on a light will not come on so you have to start it up with that option so click start and when you do that, you'll see that your uh, PSVR will come on, as you can see, and the middle light is on. All right, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold this up, and actually what I'll do is I'll just put this on because it's easy enough for me to see uh, once I slide it out, see what I'm doing. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on that light, just like so. And then you're going to go into Masked Preview, and you're going to see that that light tracks, okay? Now, you don't want to see anything else around the light, all right? And you may have to adjust the color range, because you see when I do that, I get the rest of the headset, okay? The scale, I think, is how big of an area it affects. And if that's still not working good for you, you can go to your Set Properties, and you can go and actually adjust the device settings like the brightness and contrast and white balance and all that stuff. All right, and you can tweak this until you get it to where it should be at. I'm just gonna hit okay. I'm gonna turn off mask preview. And you know it's working right when you see that green dot because what this green dot right here is showing us is what Steam VR is going to track. So when I move my head left, it follows beautifully. When I move my head right, it follows really, really nice. And when I turn, okay, it follows. But obviously, if I break the line of sight, I'll take this off. And if I actually go too far, you start to get these blue circles that show up. 
Now the blue circles are telling you that there's a conflict or that it's not properly registering the point that it's supposed to track. So you want to make sure you don't have any blue circles. You want to just have a green circle and it's going to track beautifully. So let me show you now how it actually looks and how it actually works. So I've got it already started up and uh, reset on my desk. And actually, now that I think about it, I don't know if I uh, waited until the calibration was done. So I'm going to stop and I'm going to start it again, just in case I didn't uh, do that step. So I'll just wait till it calibrates. I know that the color is set up properly now for the, uh, for the webcam to track the light. Another thing that's very important is that you don't have any real outside lights around you and that the lighting in the environment stays pretty consistent. Otherwise, you will have to adjust. So then now I can actually start up Steam. It's already started up. I can start up Steam VR. And I will just show you that this works perfectly right off the hop. You don't need any extra cameras. You don't need anything else. It's just going to work. All right, so here we go. Now we've got Steam running. You can see that it's working. It's got the green light. And I am just going to go and turn on the mirror so you guys can see what I see in the headset. All right, I've already sent it to the headset all right so that's already been sent over with the shift sorry windows shift windows right arrow and some people were saying it doesn't work you might have to do it a few times i don't know why it never used to be like that but ever since i updated my windows it seems like i have to do it a few times okay so once i put my headset on okay i don't know if you can see i'm looking at the board inside steam watch what happens now when i do this and i do that we now have that positional tilt, okay, and the up and down as well for the head as we move our head. And you can see that I'm not using anything other than the webcam and it's working fantastic. I'm just gonna show you in a game how this looks. Um, so I'll just go to my library of games. We'll do Dread Halls, just since I think that's probably a really good example of, of what uh, works well, you know, for a seated position uh, experience in VR. All right, so here we go. It has its own mirror, so I guess you guys can see that. Ooh, let me just turn down that sound a bit because it's pretty loud. Whoops, not Wi-Fi. I turned down my sound a bit. Okay, and I'm just gonna switch to my Steam window here. There we go. So that you guys can see what I see. All right, and I got my Xbox controller, and I'm gonna go to continue game, and let's see how this looks. All right, we should be in the last room I was in. Now this is an extremely scary game. I love it, it's very, very intense. All right, now one thing I did notice because I am using OpenVR advanced settings, Sometimes you'll find that you are maybe too tall or too short or whatever, but this is looking good. Okay, perfect. I'll just reset my view. There we go. Very nice. Now, this is what I'm talking about. You see, I'm a little too far forward, so what I'll do is I'll just tab over to my trinus and pull my forward down a bit. Oops, actually up a bit, I guess depending on my position, and that's looking really good now. I like that I can tweak that. I like that I have the ability to customize that now so that I can adjust the height to whatever I want. It's really nice. Okay, so here we go. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Now, in this game, it's a scary game. If I wanna peek into the darkness, you can see that that works really good. All right, and that's the whole point of the head tracking is that you've got that extra X, Y axis axes so that you can do things like this. So you can kind of peek around corners and, and look around, go up a little higher, down lower, depending on what you need to do. So if you're pay playing a first person shooter, for example, that becomes super important because you're gonna wanna look inside things or below things you're gonna to want to duck down sometimes you're gonna to to peek around corners all those good things and this makes that possible alright so you can see that it works really really well and it's super easy to set up 
All right, so hopefully you found that useful. Now, um, I am doing a Trinus giveaway, all right? So if you are interested in that and getting a free version of the new uh, version of Trinus, what I want you to do is comment down below with a hashtag JRayTrinusPromo. And the first, let's say, first five will get free copies of Trinus so you can try this out and you can get it working on your end. All right? Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to comment, and I will answer. Till next time, thanks for watching.